Good evening. You know, week after week I come out here and I do these cold opens and emphasis on the cold. It's pretty fucking bitter cold and windy out here tonight. But what I like about them is that you... Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, that doesn't just prove my point. What I like about them is that they're like a... They're like a, a birthday present that you didn't realize your crazy Uncle Lester sent you several years ago. And then it's like, well, do I open it now? Is it too late to thank him? What if it was alive at one time? And that's what I like about these, because you never really know what to expect. Sometimes they have something to do with the rest of the presentation. Sometimes they're sock puppets. Sometimes I have them planned out. Sometimes I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This is not one of those times. I put a great deal of thought into this one. And um, saying that out loud now, I realize the irony of that. But, uh, and I hope you will too. Um, <clears throat> we as speakers, we tend to say something to the effect a lot of um, our videos are our ideas. Some, something to that effect, but they're not really. You know, they're, they're the words that we choose in order to interpret our ideas to you, the audience. You only hear our words, you never hear our ideas. And, and it got me thinking, once I realized that, I was like, well, wouldn't it be really weird if you could hear the YouTuber's thoughts? God, I wish I could reach those anal beads. Good evening, everyone. Colonel Aldous Valor here with you once again. And uh, tonight's presentation is a video response to somebody named Claudia Bolin. And um, her video is pretty long, so I'm going to try my best not to get uh, sidetracked with... Uh, running off on tangents, or any frivolous comments about her personal appearance. Let's begin. Hello everybody, Claudia Berlin here, and- Holy shit, are those real eyebrows? Looks like she drew them on with a magic marker. So I have decided to start a new series of videos, so exciting, called Being a Social Justice Warrior. All right, let's play a game. Every time she reads the definition, everybody drinks. Um, I guess the winner is the last person who doesn't have alcohol poisoning. Yeah, that's what I'm calling the series. And basically it's going to be a series of videos focusing on social justice issues and what it is to be a social justice warrior. So this is really sort of an introductory video to the series. People keep asking me to make social justice videos and I do love making them. I, there is a lot of harassment involved when you make social justice stuff. All right, so is this harassment or is it criticism? Because oftentimes what happens is that somebody gets on the internet and they say something completely retarded and everybody corrects them on it. This isn't harassment. It's you being an idiot. But I just tend to say, look, you can give whatever opinion you want in the comments. That's fine. I'm not going to censor you or anything. The only time I'm going to censor you is if you get abusive and rude because there's no need for that. So that's the only rules I'm really putting on this video set that I'm about to make. Abusive or rude? That's kind of my shtick. I mean, that's why I like doing video responses, because you can't censor this. It's doing that thing again. I thought we fixed that. I understand there are people out there who are anti-social justice warriors. Don't understand where you're coming from, my friends, at all, but I respect you have the right to your opinion, but keep it civil, please. <clears throat> No. Now before we actually get into this video properly, I need to make a thumbnail because I want a nice thumbnail for my beginning of this video series. So I was thinking of doing like a proper 
warrior wonder woman type thing so i'm just going to move back a little bit and pose for a moment and you get to see this in action you get to see this happening it's like a moment of history so you do realize that every single youtube video ever made is literally a recording of several moments in history right you dumb shit just give me a second okay right am i in shot i'm in shot right ready give myself the name of social justice warrior it was given to me as kind of a put down which is really weird i was thinking about this the other day i was thinking about why social justice warrior has become this sort of internet put down and it's really strange so i was looking up definitions on the internet like i do so i thought i'd share some of these definitions with you so first of all i looked up the definition of social justice i'm sure we all know the definition of social justice but i'm going to read it out for everyone just in case Social justice is the view that everyone deserves equal economic, political and social rights and opportunities. Social workers aim to open the doors of access and opportunity for everyone, particularly those in greatest need. Everybody drank. Alright, so that sounds, um, suspiciously like the, uh, the same definition that feminism has. You know, the one about, uh, equality socially, economically and politically and all that. And, um... Uh, the reason why I oppose feminism and I oppose social justice it isn't because I oppose equal rights, it's because that's not where social justice stops, is it? If it was, we wouldn't be hearing about these things because equal rights are already, like, a thing. I mean, if equal rights aren't good enough for you and what you want is pure, I guess, artificially enforced equality, and it would have to be artificially enforced, um, then we're talking about communism, and that, history has shown, doesn't work once you get bigger than, like, 10 or 20 individuals, you know, like in a commune. But, you know, political equality? I mean, come on. We have Hillary Clinton, who by many, uh, many accounts is a woman, and she's a serious contender for the presidency of the United States of America. Hillary Clinton is in line to become the most powerful man in the world. And more than that, women and minorities can vote, they can run for office. And if you want more women or minorities in office, then we gotta get more women and minorities on the ballot. And if you want more women and minorities on the ballot, then I suppose they have to decide as individuals to actually run for office. Social equality, I mean, fucking Kim Kardashian can tweet a picture of some expensive fucking jewelry that nobody watching this will ever be able to afford, and that can be retweeted hundreds if not thousands of times. Meanwhile, I can tweet, you know, a real articulate and heart-moving message about how most American women are unrapeable and I get unfollowed. And economically equal? I suppose you're talking about the, uh, the wage gap. <laughs> I, uh, I forgot we set that up to do that. Alright, let's try to knock this out as quickly as possible. The, uh, the wage gap. <laughs> that thing is a popular fairy tale told by feminists and social justice warriors to, uh, explain why women, on average, make less money than men. And... It's dishonest because they do it in such a way where the conclusion is that the system is rigged in order to favor men. Let's look at it this way. This place is guarded by 80 guys. And if I could pay women, I, I guess depending on which version of the story you hear, 77 cents on the dollar, then, uh, well, okay, this doesn't really work out because um, the way it works here is that um, the people that work for me actually wind up owing me money every month. And, uh, it's not like I have a whole bunch of women calling me every single day, applying for jobs, guarding doors to things that cause sterility. And that's another thing. Women don't take the dangerous or disgusting jobs. They avoid those. If you, you want equality, artificially enforced equality, I'll be more than happy to support this 
once you start pushing for uh, equal representation in things like uh, sewage workers and coal miners and turkey masturbators. But until this artificially enforced equality that you guys want actually happens, um, we're going to look at an earnings gap and not a... I didn't say it. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but this seems like a very positive movement. Um, I'm sure we all want equality, so... Again, no, not equality. See, I, I don't know what it's like where you're from. In the US we have this catchphrase, um, all men are created equal. I guess you guys wouldn't have that over there because we wrote that in response to your bullshit. But, uh, and I know that sounds sexist, all men are created equal, but if we take it out of the uh, language of the time and translate it into modern language, it would read something more like, all people are born equal. And that's where equality stops. And even that's not entirely the case. I mean, people can be born a retard. But that is where equality stops, unless you mean to tell me that the value of a heart surgeon is the same as the value of a gender studies major. I mean, one of them has a career saving lives, and the other has a career complaining on the internet. And I didn't need, I didn't need to go to school for that, I'm a fucking virtuoso. <laughs> I mean, again, I, I don't understand people who are anti-social justice. Like, how you can actually let the words, I'm anti-social justice, come out of your mouth is beyond me. Because surely the opposite of being pro-social justice is being pro-social inequality. It's bullshit and you know it. Again, if equal rights was where social justice stopped, there wouldn't be an argument here. But that's not where it stops. You guys like to go on and on about things like uh, safe spaces and rape culture, whatever the hell that is, and uh, uh, battling the armies of the patriarchy. I don't believe in this artificially enforced equality bullshit, but I do believe in equal rights. And I also believe the fact that, at least here in the West, we already have those. I'm sure there's more nuance than that, but that's just the thought I had just now. So then I looked up Warrior, which is the second part of the wonderful name we're often given online. Warrior, especially in former times, a brave or experienced soldier or fighter. Everybody drink! Um, I'm not a brave or experienced soldier or fighter. The other definition here is any of a number of standing poses in yoga in which the legs are held apart and the arms are stretched outwards. Everybody drink! I'm, I'm curious, who can't hang? How did I become a social justice warrior? Well, for me, it was a really gradual process. Um, like most people, I was concerned with other things when I was in school. I've got an anxiety disorder and depression, a host of other issues. I have more issues than both. So I was just sort of trying to get through teenage life as best I could. And at first, I didn't really notice inequality. Or well, I did notice it, but I thought it was normal, which is actually really sad. Because um, I'm half Indian, I'm a woman, and I'm also bisexual. So that's an interesting cocktail, which is actually a great cocktail to be. Nobody cares about your personal experience. Nobody. You hear me, Jessica Valenti? Hmm? Fucking... A woman's personal experience is not expert testimony. It doesn't matter. It doesn't count. Uh, there's a well-renowned and respected social scientist and expert, uh... <laughs> Dr. Christy Guy. I just have this feeling that no matter how many times I... No matter how many takes I do on this, I'm, I'm never going to be able to get it out with a straight face. But uh, Dr. Christie Government is a feminist who is out there proving the existence of the patriarchy by counting penises on the Senate. And uh, <laughs> it sounds so absurd when you say what she's actually doing. Uh, <laughs> whew. But even she... <laughs> Even she agrees that um, your opinions don't fucking matter. The only thing that matters is what you can prove. Your arguments and your facts and all that other bullshit. So I've just looked up social justice warrior as a full term. And the first thing that's come up is the Urban Dictionary definition of social justice warrior. So I'm going to read it to you. A pejorative term for an individual who repeatedly engages in arguments on social justice on the internet, often in a shallow or not well thought out way, 
for the purpose of raising their own personal reputation. A social justice warrior, or SJW, does not necessarily strongly believe all that they say, or even care about the groups they are fighting on behalf of. They typically repeat points from whoever is the most popular blogger or commenter of the moment, hoping they will get social justice points and become popular in return. They are very sure to adopt stances that are correct in their social circle. Now this is- All right. Just checking, because um, <clears throat> I'm not sure I'll be able to make it through this one. It's really sad, and I do find this really sad, because I feel like the people who wrote this, like, where is their hope for humanity and where is their love? It's like they can't comprehend that there are people in the world that actually want to make the world better and help other people. <laughs> Yes, there are, but none of these people accomplish this by online activism or writing blogs on Tumblr. I mean, I don't do it to be popular. I get a lot of harassment, and I mean a lot of harassment. If by harassment you mean people calling you out on your bullshit, then God, I fucking hope so. For talking about the things that I do, it's not all like roses it's really not fun especially being um, a half indian bisexual woman i get a lot of slurs thrown at me i open my ass box on tumblr and yes i'm i've got quite a successful blog on tumblr i've got a lot of followers but every day i get so much abuse on there you know it's not a popularity if i wanted to be popular on tumblr i mean there are a lot of other ways i could go about doing that i have made an active choice to be better than the person that i was and i you just said it. You made a choice. You made a choice. And the internet responded predictably. You cannot blame the internet for doing what the internet does. Look, you decided to get into an argument where there's actual maniacs on both sides of the argument. It's a heated discussion. It's emotional to some people. You decided to get into this arena it comes at a cost, especially if you're wrong. I genuinely want to be better and to help other people. Look, shut up, all right, just shut up. If you actually care about being a good person and making the world a better place for other people, if you're truly benevolent and a kind spirit and a good heart and all that shit, you're not a social justice warrior. Because when you look at <laughs> what social justice is doing, it's causing a lot more harm than good. Another live show coming up, everybody, next Monday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern. Um, I'm going to have Must Destroy All on if everything goes according to plan. So uh, be sure to check that out, February 22nd, Monday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern. If you can't be there to watch it live, be sure to watch it after it's done.